You wake up maybe a little groggy and the first thing on your mind is probably coffee. But while you were sleeping, something amazing was happening inside your body. A deep cellular spring cleaning, it's called autophagy. Now I know what you're thinking. Autophagy, isn't that the thing you have to fast for like three days to trigger? And yeah, fasting is the most famous way to kickstart it. But what if I told you that your everyday life, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, is filled with little triggers for this incredible process? Let's walk through a day, so you're up. You skip the sugary cereal and instead you hit the gym. Or maybe you just go for a brisk walk around the block. That intense burst of movement, that's not just burning calories, it's putting a healthy amount of stress on your cells. Your muscles are working hard, creating tiny micro tears and metabolic waste. In response, your body flips the autophagy switch. It's like a tiny cleanup crew getting to work, repairing those muscle cells and clearing out the debris, making them stronger and more efficient for next time. So that post-workout soreness, that's the feeling of renewal. Okay, now for that coffee. That beautiful, dark, aromatic cup of joe. Guess what? Coffee and even green tea are packed with compounds called polyphenols. These little guys have been shown to induce autophagy. They basically mimic the effects of calorie restriction on a cellular level, encouraging your cells to tidy up and recycle old, dysfunctional parts. So your morning ritual is actually a mini detox session. Fast forward to midday. You're at work, you're focused, and suddenly, stress hits. A deadline is moved up, you get a frustrating email. We all know chronic stress is bad. But short, manageable bursts of stress, what scientists call hormetic stress, and can actually be beneficial. When your body experiences this mild stress, it activates survival pathways, and you guessed it, one of those is autophagy. It's your body's way of saying, okay, things are a little tough right now, let's get lean and efficient to handle this. It's about finding that balance, not letting stress overwhelm you. As the day winds down, you have your last meal. And here's a simple trick. Time-restricted eating. You don't have to do a full-on fast. Just by finishing dinner by, say, 7 p.m. and not eating again until 7 or 8 a.m. the next morning, you're giving your body a 12-13 hour window. That's enough time for your insulin levels to drop and for your body to start its nightly cleanup cycle. And that brings us full circle. Back to sleep. Quality sleep isn't just for your brain. It's peak time for autophagy throughout your body. Your circadian rhythm, your internal body clock, is deeply connected to this process. When you get that deep restorative sleep, you're giving your cells the uninterrupted time they need to repair, recycle, and rejuvenate. So you see, autophagy isn't some extreme biohack reserved for hardcore fasters. It's woven into the fabric of your day. It's in your morning workout, your cup of coffee, how you manage stress, and your good night's sleep. It's a constant, quiet hum of renewal. What about you? Looking back at your day, what's one thing you do that might be 